wasp who wouldn't sting. There was once a family of angry wasps who lived in a thorn tree. They always fought with everyone and were feared throughout the felt. One day, Honey Badger wandered just a little too close to the thorn tree. Fight! 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 The wasps chanted. But up in the nest, one quiet little wasp just sat and watched. The commander shouted, You! Why aren't you getting ready to fight? Sorry, sir. I just don't like fighting, said the little wasp. Don't be a coward, the commander roared. We are the best fighters in the felt because we always fight together, every last one of us. But we don't have to fight with everyone, do we? Surely they don't all want to hurt us, the little wasp said timidly. Of course not, not if we hurt them first, said the commander. Anyway, we have to protect our eggs. If someone destroyed the nest, all would be lost. So the warrior wasps lined up to attack, and the commander pushed little wasp forward. Now you will sting or you are out of the nest for good, he said. The wasps attacked, but Honey Badger's coat was thick and strong, and he didn't feel the wasp's stings. Little wasp, it is up to you, the commander shouted. I am a wasp, he told himself. He flew down and stung Honey Badger right on the nose. Honey Badger howled in pain and ran off. The warrior wasps cheered. See, said the commander, you are a fighter after all. But the little wasp didn't feel good about it at all. While the others celebrated, he quietly snuck out of the nest and flew off to find Honey Badger. Honey Badger's eyes went wide when he saw the little wasp. I don't want to fight, little wasp said quickly. I have come to say sorry. Oh, said Honey Badger in surprise. Well, I didn't want to fight either. I was just looking for a little food. The little wasp had an idea and led Honey Badger to a secret fig tree. Eat all you like, he said. Just leave some for us wasps. Well, many moons came and went, and one day, the warrior wasps went out on an expedition, leaving the little wasp to guard the nest. They had been gone for some time when Honey Badger came running up. You're in great danger, he gasped. The warrior wasps have stung Rhino. He is furious, and now he's coming to knock down the nest. Little wasp was worried. I can't fight Rhino, he said. Even if all the wasps were here, there's only one thing to do. I have to save all the eggs. So Little Wasp carried the eggs out one by one into Honey Badger's paws. The earth began to shake. Boom, boom, boom. It's Rhino, he's coming, hurry up, shouted Honey Badger. Just then, the warrior wasps came racing back to the nest in panic. The first thing they saw was Honey Badger with his paws full of wasp eggs. They darted at him in a mad rage, and Little Wasp blocked the way. Stop! he shouted. What are you doing? said the commander. You are helping the enemy, you traitor! But Little Wasp was not afraid anymore. I am fixing your mess, he said. You can't beat Rhino. So stop fighting and come with us, now! Then he shouted to Honey Badger, You know the way, go! At that moment, Rhino ran up and slammed into the tree with a mighty thud. The nest crashed into the ground. But it was empty. All the wasps had followed Honey Badger and Little Wasp to the fig tree. From now on, we only fight back. We never fight first, Little Wasp announced. And from that day on, the wasps lived, well, 
mostly peacefully, and they always shared their figs with honey badger. Thank you.